Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get started with ExpressVPN on your Amazon Fire Stick or your Amazon Fire TV. And if you are looking to get started with ExpressVPN, I do have a massive 49% discount link down below in the video description. Let's get started. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm over here on my Amazon Fire TV Stick and I'm just going to show you guys how to install ExpressVPN, adjust some of the settings, and towards the end of the video, I'm even going to play a little bit of geoblocked content on Netflix. So to get started with ExpressVPN, you just want to go to the top navigation menu, go over to the left-hand side, and then just simply type in uh, the first couple of letters of ExpressVPN. So I'll just put an EX, and as you can see guys, we have the recommended app. So I can go and click on that one, so right here we now have ExpressVPN. So mine might look a little bit different to yours as I already have ExpressVPN installed onto my device. However, if you don't, there'll be a little yellow circle. You just want to go and click on that one and that will go and install ExpressVPN onto your device. So once you've done that, you'll then want to create an account. So you can check out the link in the description and this will open you in a new tab. And from there you can choose your desired plan depending on the time frame and your budget. So once you have that set up with your email account and password, you can open up ExpressVPN and simply log in with those credentials. And once you've done that, this is what you'll be greeted with. Uh, this is the user interface of ExpressVPN. As you can see guys, it's very minimalist and easy to use. Right here we have the big connect button and the location that we'd like to connect to. So right out of the box, ExpressVPN is ready to use. You can just simply go and press this button and that will automatically connect you to the fastest server closest to your location. Or alternatively, you can click on this box here and select a certain location if you're looking to access the different versions of Netflix. And also, if you're looking to adjust further settings, you can go to the top left hand corner, click on this one, go to settings, and right here we have some awesome features such as auto connect, network protection, split tunneling, and also the ability to change the VPN protocol as well. However, I'm just going to leave this as is, as I do find these settings are great to use just straight out of the box. However, if you are looking to adjust those, you do have that control. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm actually going to go connect to the American version of Netflix, as I'm actually located outside of that country. So if I want to go and change my location, guys, that's very easily done by clicking on this box. And right here we have the kind of popular locations that ExpressVPN recommends. Or alternatively, I can go to all locations by region, or I can go to the search icon. I can click on that one, and now I can go and search for a particular country or city. So as I'm looking to connect to the American version of Netflix, I can go and type in the United States, and I only need to put in the first couple of letters. I'll click next, and now I can go and click on the United States. And as you can see guys, we're now getting this progress bar and once this is highlighted in green, this just notifies me that I'm now connected to the fastest server on the American network. So I can go back to my homepage now. Now before I open up Netflix, the first thing I want to do is force stop the application and then relaunch it, as this will allow me to load the US based version of the platform. And to do that, I want to go over to settings and then go to applications and then go manage installed applications. And then I wanna go all the way down to Netflix. And then go four stop, and then launch application. And it really is that simple guys. And I do recommend you do that anytime you change your particular location, as this will allow you to go and kind of open that fresh version of Netflix. So I'll just give this a couple of moments to load. And now I can click on this one and this will now load me onto the American version of Netflix and it really is that simple guys and just to show you guys this I can now go and search for particular movies and TV shows that aren't available in my particular uh, location and just to show you a, an example I can go and search for Marvel and I'm actually located in Australia so I miss out on many Marvel movies um, including Avengers and a couple of others as well so I'll just go and type in Marvel and as you can see guys, I now have access to Avengers Infinity War, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Spider-Man, and I also have some additional movies um, such as Solo, The Incredibles, and this is really only scratching the surface as to the content that you can find on the different versions of Netflix. 
So what I'm going to do now guys is just go play a really small snippet of one of these movies in real time as I really want to show you the speeds of using ExpressVPN and also the ability of unblocking Netflix. So I'll just go click on this one, press play. And from my own experience with using ExpressVPN, it does take between maybe 5 and 20 seconds for the stream to get going. And this can depend on the time of day you're trying to connect, how many people are on the servers and a couple of other factors. So there you have it guys, that's a really quick guide on how to get set up with ExpressVPN on your Amazon Fire Stick. And again, if you are looking to get started with ExpressVPN, don't forget to check out the exclusive 49% discount link down below in the video description. And also guys, if you have any other questions about ExpressVPN, Amazon Fire TV Stick or anything along those lines, feel free to comment down below as I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.